So in section 2.5 we looked at couples in two dimensions, now we extend it to three dimensions. And again we've got a, a, a body, a three dimensional body, and we've got two forces acting on this body, and they form a couple, meaning it's F and minus F, so they have uh, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction, but separated by a perpendicular distance. And we want to determine what is their rotational effect on this body. We take moments about point O, and we sum up the moments. So about point O, we've got R cross F, right? From, from point O to any point along the line of action of F, R cross F, and then, sorry, RA cross F, and then we've got RB cross minus F. Right, that's what we're doing. And this ends up as RA minus RB, which is simply R, which is your position vector from any point along the line of this, a action of this force, to any point along the line of action of this force. And so you can see that the moment of a couple is the same about all points. So it is independent of any point that you take moments about. So it is a free vector. Okay, free vector. Um, that's all I need to say there. And of course it is perpendicular to the plane of these two forces. Okay. Now, moments again in three-dimensional space obey vector rules. Okay, they obey all the rules which govern vector quantities. So if you've got a couple F1 and minus F1, they cause a, a moment like that, right, pointed in that direction. You've got another couple. As you can see, they're not in the same plane. They're, they're acting uh, in three-dimensional space. And you can simply add those vectors up, M1 and M2, M1, M2, and get a resultant vector, a resultant moment, using the parallelogram method. Okay. Finally, we can replace, just as in two dimensions, we can rep in three dimensions we can replace a single force with a force couple system. How do we do that? We, may, you know, we we apply an imaginary force there. Well, actually, that force is it is there, and we apply also the equal and opposite force there, so that we create a couple over there. So now we've got that force F, and we have a couple, uh, which is equal to R cross F. So now these two systems are externally equivalent.